Hello, my name is Dr. James Capon. I'm the Chief Quality and Patient Safety Officer at Chalk Children's. And we at Chalk Children's are pleased to continue to expand our commitment to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation by using the movement's actionable patient safety solution, or apps, as checklists for providing the highest level of quality and safe patient care. Chalk is a nearby 334 bed academically affiliated and freestanding children's hospital that along with a 54 bed satellite facility in South Orange County, spans a breadth of pediatric care from a burgeoning population health network to a full portfolio of tertiary and quaternary pediatric care. With nearly 900,000 children in Orange County, we find ourselves responsible for the health and well-being of nearly two million regional children. We are fortunate as Orange County's Children's Hospital to be geographically blessed, not just on January days like this, but also because of our proximity to the Massimo Corporation, with whom we have been closely affiliated since the first year. We have been engaged with this group and we greatly appreciate both its input and its output. And it is certainly not coincidental that Mr. Chiani is a member of our board of directors and chairs our board quality committee. Such interactions reinforce the natural tendencies within pediatric care to collaborate broadly to share readily and to move quickly in evidence-based ways to learn, teach, and make all efforts to avoid patient harm. We are active partners in a number of regional, state, and national collaboratives in an effort to be networks for children's safety providers and special areas of excellence such as nursing, trauma, extracorporeal life support, and patient and employee experience, all of whom have some compendium of best practice standards. We believe in the power of stories and the importance of individual events, not just rates. This helps us see the impact of the single instance and is consistent with our patient and family-centered model of care. And we believe in getting to zero, particularly zero preventable deaths, which is one of our organization's highest level goals. All of this translates into a belief in using checklists. And as such, I reported to this gathering two years ago that we had modified our approach to the app's executive summaries into a form of checklist which we were using to measure our capacity and our performance. In the last two years, we have significantly expanded this approach and we now have checklists applicable to all of the apps uh, that exist in the portfolio that are relevant to pediatrics, which of course is our specialty and passion. I would note this isn't always easy, given the appetite and energy for expansion within the patient safety realm by this movement, but it's a good challenge. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we have reached our goal of making formal commitments around all the apps relevant to our hospital. More importantly, through our commitments to the patient safety movement, I'm happy to announce that we have saved at least 49 lives. Yes. The finest physician I ever met was one of the early generation of pediatric ICU doctors, or intensivists as we tend to be known, and his name was Dr. Nick Annis. He was intellectual, affable, full of life and charisma, a fantastic teacher and a wonderful collaborator. He had an especially strong, playful streak. He influenced so many of us to be better, either directly or indirectly. He basically built two PICU programs in Southern California, which had become strong indeed, and he helped save countless children's lives. Nick died last spring, well before anyone was ready to see him go, least of all his wonderful family. I was fortunate enough to be one of his first pediatric critical care fellows, and as so many would say, he became my friend. In an unusual testimony, Nick was eulogized in our specialty journal, Pediatric Critical Care Medicine, by the editor-in-chief who claimed his own career direction was influenced directly as an early resident with Nick. He went so far as describing Nick as swashbuckling. I bring this all up here because Nick was a checklist guy. Now he might have pushed back a little at the label, but on any given day, his desk was festooned with one or more little yellow, yellow sticky notes full of the things he was gonna do that day or that week, complete with check boxes. Those things happened and good things resulted. Checklists work, as other industries know well. The concept of the safety movement's apps work. 
In an increasingly complex world, we just need to do the simple, proven things that lead to our desired outcomes. Our patients and our families thank us for our attention to small detail, which reaps big benefit. Thank you.